The Yonkers detective shot in the line of duty Wednesday is awake and interacting with people after surgery for extensive internal injuries. As CBS 2's Tony Ayala reports, today the police commissioner used surveillance video to give the officer's version of events, which ended with the detective shot and the suspect dead. We have the best community in the world in Yonkers, and it's important for us to share this with them so there is no lingering doubt. The Yonkers police commissioner explaining the decision to release this surveillance video to illustrate the police version of yesterday's fatal shooting. It happened inside the 115 Family Deli on Elm Street. Police say 28 year old Bryant Jackson in the white hoodie was holding this Glock 19 attached to a chain. He's showing the individual in the black hood, the gun, and then he calls over the individual in the gray hood, the gun, to show it to them. 20 seconds later, task force officers enter, including Brian Menton in the bright blue pullover. None had guns drawn. As Jackson tries to leave, Menton stops him. Jackson appears to fire once. Menton falls, and an unnamed FBI agent immediately draws and fires his weapon, killing Jackson. Heroic, you know, I mean, you know, a split second moment. Uh, and, and believe me, nobody wants to be involved in these situations. We've learned Jackson's criminal record includes felony robbery in 2014 and misdemeanor assault in 2017. Police say a total of four illegal handguns were recovered, and two of the men with Jackson at the scene were busted on gun charges in Yonkers just last year. This picture shows Detective Brian Menton in 2020 when he was honored for heroism, helping take down a man with a gun at busy Getty Square. He's a, a dear friend, but he's the best cop I've ever worked with, by far. Um, just, you know, his level of dedication is, is just unmatched. In a twist, Menton's twin brother is also in law enforcement. He was at the scene Wednesday and helped rush the critically injured cop to Jacoby, where he's now recovering after surgery. Federal weapons charges are pending against two of the suspects in the deli. In Yonkers, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.